is a 14 year old girl who has gingival hyperplasia for both medical reasons and, ortho and orthodontic purposes. Uh, the appliance has made it harder to maintain hygiene, so as a result we've had gingival hypertrophy that we see the tissues now up and over or, encompass or uh, engulfing some of the orthodontic brackets. And what I explained to the parents was there was two ways to do it, and we could absolutely do it the traditional way. And we can go through with a scalpel and we can uh, numb up the patient and incise the tissue and remove it. But the advantage to Solea was we would use very little, if any, anesthetic. We would have no sutures because the later laser is able to cauterize uh, the areas and we would have minimal bleeding. And then the healing time is faster, so the recovery is better. We're actually going to be treating uh, about 24 teeth, uh, which is a very large gingivectomy for anybody that's ever undergone a gingivectomy. Three or four teeth can be sensitive, 24 teeth can be extraordinarily sensitive. sensitive. And uh, I thought this was the better way to do it. So we actually completed the entire procedure. We did need some anesthetic, but we used a total of less than one and a half carpules. So whereas traditionally we would have used significantly much more than that. We would have used multiples of one and a half. We would have probably wound up using, you know, uh, at least five or six carpules, maybe more uh, for this procedure. And she was able to go through the whole thing. We finished it in about an hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, we were able to sculpt the tissue with the laser and bevel it uh, all the way through and overall we have a satisfied patient and satisfied parents and in five days I'll be satisfied with the result <laughs> and hopefully her post-op experience is as good as I think it's going to be.